Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 126, and we're going to be going over the Menu Admin Per Menu module. And this is a module that probably isn't going to be used on many of your Drupal sites, but if you have complex needs with how you want to control access to various parts of your administration of your Drupal site, especially in this case, the menus, that specific users are going to have access to, then this module can help. And I'll explain how we can use that here in just a second, but before we get started, as always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, and make sure to go to codekarate.com, check out the other videos and posts, and sign up for the newsletter. Today's sponsor is buildamodule.com. Go ahead and check out buildamodule.com if you haven't already. There's over 850 Drupal video tutorials, and I recently hired two developers for my development company, and I bought them subscriptions to buildamodule.com to get them started on learning Drupal. So go ahead and check it out yourself. There's a bunch of free videos to get you started to see if you like how the videos are presented, and I highly recommend you try it, and I think you're going to like it. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So the menu admin per menu module, basically it's going to allow us to control access to various menus on our site. So let's say, for instance, we have a pretty complex site and we have different users we want to be able to administer different sections of the site. Let's say, for instance, we want a user to be able to administer the navigation section on our site, but not necessarily the main menu we can go ahead and use this menu admin per menu module to go ahead and make that happen. So I'm going to go over to the modules page. And you can see I already have the menu admin per menu module installed. It's a 7.x-1.0 version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the permissions because it's a permissions based module so there's not a lot of configuration here and if you scroll down typically if you wanted a user to be able to administer menus and menu items you would simply select this checkbox right here and obviously you'd probably have multiple roles not just authenticated users but in this case I'm just going to use the authenticated user role as an example but you can of course add other roles to your Drupal website you'll notice that the menu admin per menu module has added a bunch more per permissions here some for the development menu, the main menu, the management menu, the navigation menu, and the user menu so let's say for instance we want to give the navigation menu and user menu administration abilities to the authenticated users of this website I can go ahead and select these boxes scroll down and save it And now, another thing I'm going to want to do is come into my management menu. And I'm going to go ahead and move this menus section out of the administration section and up above, just so it's easier for authenticated users to find. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm also going to make sure I add a, this management menu block to the sidebar over here on the left, just so I can get to the links. And then we'll go ahead and notice that now the management menu is over here. I'm going to go ahead and log out and log in as just a regular authenticated user. You'll notice that I don't have the administration menu on the top, but I do have this link here to administer the menu. You'll notice that I only have access to two menus. I can go ahead and list the links for the menu and add links. So for instance in this navigation menu I can view the different links that are going to be here, which I only see one link. I 
can of course add another. You can do the same for the user menu. So you can see there's the My Account and the Logout link. If I wanted to add another link, and I'm going to go ahead and just go to Node 2 as an example, and give it a wait so it shows up on the bottom. I will save this. Now you'll notice that me as an authenticated user, I was able to add a menu item to this link, but I wasn't able to add menu items or manage menu items for any of the other menus that I don't have access to. So as you can see, it's a really simple module, but it really allows you fine-grained control over who can access what menus. And this can be useful, as I said, on very large Drupal sites in which you have a large user base and you have multiple administrators managing the site. A lot of times you don't want to give full administration permission to every user, so you can use this module to configure which users and which roles have access to change which menus. So that's it on this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Go ahead and thank buildamodule.com and check out the videos on buildamodule.com. And thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. I'll see you next time.